guys, we're gonna be looking at a brand new line of tools. We're gonna to have head-to-head -head tests. But before we start with our first tool, can I see the battery charge on this one? Full charge. Okay. What motor are you in? Drill one and drill. Okay. And on the turbo drill, we're in one. We're in drill mode. Okay. The battery is all lit up. Five amp hour battery. Five amp hour versus a five. 24 volt. Uh-huh. What but do we got? This is a 18 volt battery. 18 volt versus 24 volt. Are these competitors similar in the market? Is this what a guy would put in his hands and, and put head to head? Yep, that is one of the most popular drills on the job site today. Okay, let's see what they can do. One, two, three, go. Okay, just to make sure there's no funny business, can we put these side by each? I want to make sure that the auger bit links are the same. Okay, so why did this one win, Eric? So this one won. The big difference between these two drills is we have uh, 200 more uh, inch pounds of torque. Okay. That's at 1,200, this is at 1,400 inch pounds. But the real secret is the turbo button right here. We had turbo mode on. So mm. that is gonna increase my power 25% and I'm getting a lot higher RPM. In speed two, we're going up to 25. No, tur no turbo mode? No turbo mode on this white tool. Will that turbo mode wear the battery down faster? It's using a little bit more power, but our battery is also slightly bigger. Um, so it's comparable run times. Comparable run times, yeah. okay. Depends on the application. Okay, now can I try this tool Absolutely. against you? Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. One, two, three, go. That's where I was left. Oh yeah, I'm not, I don't want to lose. If these tools are that good, they're going to win on their own merit. Yeah, so I got a couple inches deeper than you. I okay. Want, uh... okay, so now just to make sure we can see really clearly head to head, side by side, we're going to run it again, flex versus the competitors. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. What's the difference? Wait, before we go too much further, let me see the battery on these guys. Side by each, please. Full? Oh, you're, you're not full. You're not full. Ever. Okay. Right, so there you go. Fastest uh, mode in speed three. Okay. Fastest speed there. That is the fastest speed. That is the fastest speed. Yeah. Okay. Just want it. And what, what's the? It's a five amp hour battery. Okay. 18? 18, 18 volt, five amp hour battery in the fastest speed. Okay. 24 volt, five amp hour with uh, sensor free brushless motor. Sensor free. So we took all the sensors that are traditionally on a brushless motor okay. and put them down into the electronic tier. So you move it away from the business end of the tool, makes it um, more durable, of course, and then you can make the motors larger as necessary to provide the power that you see here. I seen you hit a button to change bits. Yeah. What's so the deal? Instead of having to cradle it and pull it forward to be able to release the, the bit itself, mm -hmm. there's a quick button right here. So right from your trigger position, you hold and you can pull the bit out. Well, is that a big deal or was that just a convenience? 
it's both a big deal and a convenience. So, you know, you don't have to, you know, if you're switching back and forth really quickly between two different fastener types, mm -hmm. you know, super easy to, to be able to do that without having to do this kind of crazy. Can, can you show us the traditional method? Yeah, so this is a very normal collet out there. This is still a quick insert. Mm -hmm. But like you see a lot of people will cradle the tool like this and pull it like forward. That, yep. pull it forward. You get your other bit and you know this one is is actually quick insert just like that. You're ready to go. But it's so much simpler here with the quick eject. Oh, you don't have you can keep your hand on the handle so you're ready to go that much faster. It's just simpler to operate. In addition to that, this motor with this battery combination provides, you know, the highest torque that we're seeing in the market, 2,500 inch pounds, the highest RPMs, 4,000 RPMs. So is this, the, is this basically the only tool that is running this new sensor free setup then, or, so, or is there other flex tools in this lineup that may have that? So every tool in the flex lineup is going to feature the sensor free brushless motor. Oh, really? Absolutely. So we put the best technology across the entire platform. So you're putting all your eggs into this basket <laughs> saying this is the best. This is the best. I mean, okay. The battery, the electronics, the motor, it's going to give you tremendous results. How do we know that? Has this been field tested? Has this been proven? Has this been in the hands of any pros out there? Or is this you guys developed this three months ago and say this is the best? <laughs> No, absolutely. We always test all of our products in the field. So these tools have been in the field for over a year now. Mm -hmm. and we've gotten tremendous feedback With who? on these. A number of different contractors. We have on the 50 process. different contractors, various trades. Do you pay them? No, we do not pay them. Okay. So we really just want honest feedback because we want to make the best tool possible. Okay. Okay. Good to know. You ready? Three, two, one, go. Can you guys put some weights on those and do it again? Do it, make it a little more fair? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can do that, that's absolutely no problem. Okay, now no pushing down, just let, you got. Yeah, so we each have 10 pound weights. Okay. And we'll just let the tool do the work. Okay. We're cutting pipes, so you may see us rock a little bit to get started, but okay. the weight's doing the work. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Hand off the top. Okay. What are we running? We're running full power. Full power. 18 volt. 18 volt, five amp power. Five amp. 5 amp hour, 24 volts. Can you guys switch tools and do it again? When you're comfortable, are you both comfortable? Yep. Okay. Are we all good? I like the other tool better. Okay. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. The real magic of this saw is the shock shield anti-vibration technology. Our mechanism uh, reduces the vibration 40%. So you're not, you're not feeling that vibration anymore in your arm all day long. It's going right to the blade, allowing the blade to move faster than a, than a tool that actually has the same exact specs as this. 3,000 uh, strokes per minute, inch and a quarter stroke. Um, but 40% less vibration puts the power where you need it. So the vi it's the less vibration uh -huh. that's improving the results. That's a big part of it. We also have a higher Click. current because of the 24 vol uh, volt system. So it's not in the blades. So what you're same telling blades. me is same exact blades. They were yeah. brand new before yeah. we started. Okay, okay. I just want to make sure because I know these guys are going to ask and I'm going to ask. Absolutely. Yeah, okay. we're not trying to pull any fast ones. We had 10 pound weights uh, pulling them down at the same force. Okay. And uh, yeah. Can't make it any more fair than that. What are you doing, Eric? <laughs> Hammer and nails for uh, wood with nails. What are you gonna do with that? So we're gonna test the recip saws, uh, wood with nail blades, going through uh, like a demo situation. So tearing out, uh, tearing out a stairway or something in the house. Oh, all right. There we go.
standard feature is orbital. This one does not come with orbital. So this linear only. Linear right. only. So basically, we're going to show you guys same class of tool. Yeah. Um, you know, it's same price point. Same price point. Three thousand strokes per minute, inch and a quarter stroke length. They do not have a normal mode. We do. And then you know the big big advantage we have too is the shock shield. Okay. And battery power is good. Brand new batteries. Let's double check. I want to make sure full. Plum full, new, brand new, okay? And you guys, I don't know, I just don't wanna see hands on top. I wanna to really get this thing going, okay, guys. If you need to get it started to get it in, that's fine. And I'll give you a three, two, one. Are you both ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. And now, just to be sure, Put that right here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Same nails all the way through. Yep. This is uh, the Flex Demo Wood with Nails Blade. Wow. We got a nine inch and a six inch. We also have a number of uh, metal cutting blades as well and a carbide uh, blade as well for stainless. So Flex is coming out with their own line of blades. Yeah, we have a full... Is what you're saying without telling me. So let's, let's, take, let's take a walk. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so we have um, over 70 different accessories coming out to support this uh, brand. We have cutting, of course, six and a half and seven and a quarter inch uh, pro level blades, which are really fantastic. Super fast coating on there. Active speed tooth design clears the material incredibly fast. Of course, we have uh, drilling and driving, nut setters, everything ready to go here. We have uh, reset blades, you know, demo, wood with nail, metal, carbide tipped, jigsaw blades a bunch of Starlock OMT accessories, and a ton of kits, trade-specific uh, kits, and these really awesome stack packs. So I don't know if you saw how easily I put that together, just like that. I got three packs here. I can open them like a book. Really oh, great packs. Sick. All right. So not only the tools that get the job done, but the accessories too. Hmm. Thanks, Eric. Yeah. All you're seeing are pure power plates. Mm -hmm. What you're not seeing are the batteries being able to go back on the chargers immediately because they're not overheating thanks to Thermatec. What you're not seeing are the batteries charge faster than everyone else because of the higher wattage and the safe charging technology that we've developed over the last 15 years. You also have dual cooling fans in your chargers, right? Exactly. Which helps it keeps everything cooler along with what we're doing with the battery tech, along with the software management that is unparalleled. These are the things that you'll see after you do the torque test now, in the real world. Every single one of these tools is sensorless. Every brushless motor okay, is sensorless. But the benefit of sensorless is that you no longer have this component that's adding size, okay, which allows you to either make the motor more compact or it allows you to add extra windings to make them more powerful. We have a ton of sensors inside of our tools, a ton of sensors, but because of what we're able to do now with Power IQ, it's no longer necessary to have them on top of the brushless motor. Huge step forward. Where are you putting them again? They're all throughout the entire tool. Mm. Thermotech. What that does is it draws the heat from the cells to the Thermotech material so you can keep working while other batteries will stop. Hmm. And you get some of you guys are gonna go, yeah, that's a bunch of salesman mumbo jumbo. I have yet, I've never had an ego overheat ever. In my life, uh -huh. I've never, I've, I've taken them through the swamps. I've, I put the battery in that, uh, that mower and I, I mowed for an hour and 45 minutes and 80 to 90 degree, I was done. So we did the turbo drill earlier. This is the hammer drill version. 1400 inch pounds of torque in the turbo mode speed to 2500 RPMs, which is 500 RPMs, you know, better than most other drills out there. This one has the addition of a hammer drill on it. So you can do, you know, cement uh, masonry, you know, work with that as well. You know, full metal ratcheting chuck, carbide reinforced uh, jaws on there. But you know, this is the magic right here, just like we talked about on the drill version. Mm. Gives you. What are you gonna power. go up against? Show me the features, the benefits. Yeah. 
everything. I want to know everything about so this. So here's uh, one of the most popular drills on the market. 1,200 inch pounds of torque um, at 2,000 RPMs. Mm -hmm. um, so we're just going to be able to power through that material that much faster. We're both in five amp hour batteries fully charged mm -hmm. and uh, this is an 18 volt that is a 24 volt price material points. There. what's the difference um this is 299 and uh, this is right around the same if i remember correctly how about the drill bits are these your guys's drill bits these are not our drill bits okay but are they're they both the same. new they're new and they're identical what are we going to be doing so uh we have uh, a cinder block wall here filled with uh, portland cement it's mm -hmm. a nice consistent material so we don't get any aggregate or anything like that Okay. And uh, we're gonna bury our bit faster. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Okay. Was this some kind of safety shot off of that? Yeah, I think you were, I think you were just really leaning on it, is what happened. Oh, okay. Yeah, you had all your weight on there. Yeah. <laughs> I, I wanted to win and I forgot it would be that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, were you holding back? No, just pushing down as hard as I could. Okay, well, now it's my turn. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> It. Does this have any of that vibration reducing technology that you guys have put into some of your other tools in this one? So this doesn't have shock shield like our reset okay. or the rotary hammers. Um, you know, the OMT has shock shield. But one other thing, you know, I didn't get into is we have anti-kickback on this. Mm. So like in a drilling mode, if you're doing a hole saw for, you know, HVAC, you mm -hmm. know, anything like that, if, you know, I think this has probably all happened to us before where the hole saw bites and comes around on me, yep. either it hits me in the face or it wrenches my arm, stops automatically, saves your arm, saves you. Standard? Standard on our top of the line models. Gosh. Makes it slimmer. So the sensors list is just like taking all the governors off and letting it rip, man. Well, no. it's still a sensor. We can just control it from where the, the, the board is. Oh, Rather okay. So it on it's there. controlled in a different area. Exactly. Got it. Exactly. So this is a toolless 360 degree uh, guard on here. Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't have to mess with a wrench. So this that. makes it easier to use your guard effectively. Right. Because And it's a great thing to keep on your tool safety-wise. Yeah, so, you know, most grinders have a vent here to deal with the heat. And this is actually a, um, a little air filter here so that you don't get metal particles in. It's removable so that you can oh, wash nice. it really nice and easy. That pops in again, no problem. This is our paddle switch model. We also have side switch models. And then this is our variable speed as well. Now this is the only angle grinder out there from any of the major tool brands that is variable speed. So we were talking about surfacing earlier. Um, you can actually, you know, you know, uh, match the speed of the tool to whatever accessory you're using to surface concrete, surface, you know, polished marble, whatever you want to do. Um, you know, wire wheels is a big thing. You don't want to be going all the way up to eight, nine, ten thousand RPMs with a wire wheel on there. So this allows you to match the speed uh, to the accessory and makes this tool much more versatile, much more efficient. And then one other thing we haven't talked about yet is we actually do have a shock shield handle on here. Um, so this is gonna isolate your hand from vibration, especially when you're doing surfacing, right? Mm -hmm. um, cutting, you know, it's not as much vibration, uh, but surfacing, this thing's a godsend. Well, let's see it deliver. Absolutely. Are you ready, Eric? I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Wow. 
Why is there so much difference in performance, Eric? And you know, we've been uh, doing angle grinders since 1954. We invented them. So we've learned a few tricks around the way. Five bars on this one. Yep. And that's all the bars. That's four. four that's yeah. four. That's fully yeah, charged. Ours is, ours is uh, four as well. Can you put them side by each once? I just want to show yeah. the difference. So these guys can just take, take a peek. Yeah. And then rotate them. Yeah. You can see. And I'll do side. There, yeah. profile. Eric, thank you. Yeah, thank no you for all of Absolutely. the demonstrations today. 27 new tools. 27 new tools. And what was the other one? Two chargers and four batteries? Yes, sir. Yep, two chargers, four batteries, 27 tools, 70 accessories. 70 accessories. Coming only exclusively to Lowe's. Yeah, for home centers. centers. Yeah. Right? Lowe's so is our exclusive home center partner. Okay. Yeah. All right, you guys. Well, that's the new Flexvolt lineup. Be straight with you guys. You may have noticed that I tried to stay out of this as much as possible and let you guys decide what you think. So let me know in the comments down below. No, you know what? We're not done yet. I want to show these guys the mud mixer. We've got to get the mud mixer yeah, in. We've it. got to get that in. This thing is pretty damn cool, you guys. The mud mixer is cool. We have not seen that. Let's get this in. Here's the head. <laughs> Oh, Half inch keyed chuck, so you're gonna be able to use whatever accessory you want there. So you don't have to hold the trigger. Yeah, so I can hold, uh, just let go of that if I want. The ergonomics of the machine are really easy to handle here. Just give me a small cut on it yeah, at first. I just want to get a, a feel for how it rolls. Go for it anytime you're ready. Okay, competitor. Please and thank you. The foot is all the way up, and of course the blade guard retracted, but there's a quarter inch material still there. Mm. Same exact blade on there, six and a half inch, 24 tooth carbide. What's the tool specs on this one? Uh, they're both six and a half inch blades, and Patrick, do you know the depth of cut on this? Uh, off the top of my head. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Not three inch. <laughs> About two and a quarter, whatever that measurement is. <laughs> um, Dan, what were you saying about the star what? Star lock. Star lock. Why is it's that easy. important? Because a lot of pros like star lock because it's easy, right? So if you're like out there and you need to put your blade on, you know, a lot of times you have to mess around with that tool. Yep. There's a piece that comes out with star lock. You just put it on. You can actually lay it on the table. Yeah, you don't even have to use two hands. You can do it this way. So you have on the blade, mm. a hole in the middle, okay. and you have these corrugations on the outside. They fit within this corrugated pocket. Mm -hmm. And in our tool, we have a clamp that opens up to lock the blade in place and closes when we want to release the blade. So now I can take this, put this right over the blade, take the tool, put that there, and without even touching the blade, I've now secured this. The other advantage of Starlock, besides the easy blade uh, uh, placement, is that it's 100% power transmission. So all the power that's being generated by the tool, oscillating this blade back and forth, 20,000 RPM, plus or minus two degrees, is being transferred to the blade, to the teeth, to the workpiece. You get the job done faster, like that. A lot of now if I'm that. working on the stairs, I'm working in the cabinet. Mm -hmm. I can get into tight places where I have to go at a right angle. Mm -hmm. Very convenient. Okay. And as you can see when you hold that, almost like this. Yeah, feel it. There's no vibration.
and now the video's done. All right, you guys, thanks for for hanging out. Thanks for going for the ride. What did we go, five, 550 miles today? But I think it was well worth it. Tell me what you think of the new line in the comments down below. That's all I got for you guys. God bless, go get them. If you wanna see more on these tools, let me know. We might be able to make that happen.